This is a piece of news that I did not expect to see. And it's because I didn't expect it, because it comes out of left field, that I think it's worth paying attention to, and it's important. So the story is, support for the euro has never been higher within Europe. So the people of Europe believe in this currency in a way that people in the United States don't believe in the United States dollar, and people in China have never really believed in the yuan. And trust begins at home when it comes to a currency. Because if the people in the nation trust the currency, well, then the people outside of that nation can trust the currency. You don't, you don't hold Venezuelan bolivars. No country holds a Venezuelan bolivar as a foreign reserve because the Venezuelans themselves don't believe in it. It's the belief of the people that's where it begins, and it won't begin in China if there is a next reserve currency somewhere down the line. I think it's the euro, especially because nobody's expecting it right now. Everybody's distracted with the United States and China, and nobody is looking at the obvious. Look at how obvious. Top 10 countries with largest gold reserves. United States, yeah, maybe. Number one, Germany. Germany, Italy, France, the European Union, number two, three, and four. There's all the gold. That's how you save the currency. When all the currencies fail, you save the currency with gold. Russia can do it. China can do it. Europe can do it. And people trust Europe. Europe doesn't really have any enemies. Nobody hates Germany. You can hate the United States. You can hate China. But nobody really hates the Europeans. And that's exactly why the euro is the next reserve currency.